Hello, welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason and this is Hmm, this is a session, it's a video. Um, I haven't made one for a bit, for a while. And I thought it'd be good to, or interesting for me at least, to just do like a daily thoughts video. I did a couple of thinking out quietly videos, um, which this could be another one of those. But just daily thoughts, daily love. I used to have some sessions called daily love. So I won't spend the entire session talking about what I might call it. But I wanted it to be something free flowing, something um, directed at you, directed at giving you an opportunity to Think about yourself in maybe a kinder way, a chance to have that feeling of love that maybe you feel towards another person, but aiming it at yourself, aiming it at your own heart and your own well-being. So it's... Uh, just an idea because all the things I come up with and think about are just ideas not that I come up with anything original because it might have already been thought of before so I don't make any claims to that but they're just ideas it's just an opportunity maybe for you to just open up, open up a little bit to the possibility that changes can occur quite quickly. So as in many of my other sessions, I generally tell you to uh, expect background sounds at some point. I can never can really be prepared for that um, because otherwise I'm continuously editing the sessions and restarting and you know um, and I don't want to have to keep doing that so the only time I would re-edit or restart is if a, I don't know, a jumbo jet lands in the garden or something like that then you know spaceship lands on the roof I wouldn't really like that to happen it ruin ruin the slates on the roof and also, I've just given Andre an egg. Andre's my polecat. Uh, he's my son, really. He's my son. I've just given him an egg, but in the shell. So he, he's basically trying to get into the egg. Because he loves licking inside an egg. He loves eggs, the content. But um, kind of gives him a toy at the same time. So he's in the hallway, bashing it against the, the wall. Although he gets into it quite quickly now, because he's... Uh, He's, you know, he knows how to, but he basically just bashes it against the wall. So it's, you might hear him come in in a minute and start playing with the plastic bag or biting my toes. Hopefully he, he won't bite my toes because that's slightly distracting. So it's the idea of having self-love, but not forcing it. That's one of the things that I've... Um, I struggled with for years, uh, having read many, many, many self-help books and listened to lots of self-help audios and then training in NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, training in hypnosis, training in counselling, also training in other therapies such as reflexology, massage, uh, etc. So... Uh, EFT as well as another one and so I kind of I didn't I've not really been a big fan of the idea of forcing something um, 
to be the way you want it to be just by forcing it it's like like or, or manipulation even i'm not really a big fan of that it's specific to me i mean everyone's got their own idea about how things should be i'm more in coming from the angle of not seeing things or trying to reduce the amount of things that i see in a certain specific way so that i my intention is to expect things to be a certain way less and less i hope i explained that correctly so i have less of that ideas in my mind of it should be this way that should be that way you should be speaking like this if you're in a relationship you should be both be holding each other's hands like this those kind of limited ideas and thoughts uh, in my experience are not helpful and may be useful for children to learn how to behave socially and to grow up and you know to develop and although of course adults also need to continue continue to, to develop and to learn new skills and to be reminded of old skills i don't think we need to necessarily do it in such a small-minded way because personally again it's all personal it's all my own um words that i'm saying i don't represent anybody else I don't expect you to agree with me and I don't need you to agree with me. But you may decide to give it some thought. Think about it. Just, you know, ponder, maybe. And start to think, you know what? What would your life be like? If you had less of that limited thinking, how much more relaxed will you be from now on? Now you've decided to make some changes and allowing those changes to naturally happen. Because sometimes, sometimes you really don't need to do much. It's a case of just allowing uh, those changes to happen. It's like opening it yourself up to the idea, being willing to absorb the suggestion of possibilities that maybe life will be easier when you've not got this set structure of it should be this way, people should talk that way, uh, people should dress in a certain way you know those kind of things because ultimately what does it what does it matter i mean really what does it matter if someone walks down the street dressed as a giraffe that might seem like a you know random thing to to just mention i've never seen anybody dressed as a giraffe walking down the street. But if I did, I like to think that it wouldn't really be that much of a big deal. It's not going to change my life. And I'm not going to be thinking, how dare they walk down the street dressed as a giraffe? That's not society. That's not how we're supposed to be. No, 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 no. Yeah, if you see someone walking down the street in bondage gear, or see a man walking down the street dressed as a woman, who is obviously a man, or seeing someone uh, covered in uh, piercings, or you know whatever, you know whatever it is that kind of goes against you know whatever your so specific societal rules are
then what do you do with that with that feeling that you have that feeling of it's, it's like a confusion isn't it it's like cannot comprehend cannot compute they are wearing the wrong clothes they cannot deal with this they should wear this they should do this they should do that they shouldn't do this they shouldn't do that for me when i hear like shoulds and shouldn'ts i part of my brain just switches off you know, who, who are you or me or anyone else to tell another person what they should or shouldn't do and i'm not talking about law things you know i'm not talking about um basic things that are obvious I mean, to be fair, why would someone need to be told not to steal? We all know not to steal. No one needs to be told not to murder. We all know not to murder. We know not to abuse others. We know that. It's there. We know. Anybody that does that, generally, I'm going to say generally because it's kind of the, the occasional person, but we know that stuff. We don't have to have a, a big, massive set of rules that are like continuously bombarding us when we already know these things. Of course, we need the laws, you know, about those specific things I was talking about. But Andre's coming in now. So. It's gone away again. So this has been something that I've been thinking about for years and years and years. The whole idea of minimizing and reducing the amount of fixed thoughts that we have in our minds, where you can really just think differently um, and allow yourself to have the opportunity to be more who you are, be more of who you are, to get more in touch with who you are, not who you think you should be, not who you think other people think you should be, so that you're not behaving how you think other people expect you to behave. And again, I'm not talking about ignoring the law or any of those things. I'm talking about general human feelings and being yourself. You know, having your own opinions, having your own thoughts, original thinking. And I wonder what that would be like if we all did it more if we all allowed ourselves to actually challenge the thoughts that occur in our minds challenge it every day i don't mean in that way i don't mean challenge every single thing that comes into your mind because that's just painful and why would you know give yourself a break that's that's like being in a relationship with someone that hates you. I mean, that's just, that's horrible. There's no point in that. But challenge the big things. Challenge the things, you know, the shoulds and the shouldn'ts. Challenge those things that are limiting your life, your pleasure, your happiness. And how do you do that? One day at a time, I say. One minute at a time. One thought at a time. It's a gradual process. And can be an instant process. Both at the same time. Because every everything that changes moves you forward towards the next change. 
So there's lots of opportunities to really make a change in your own life, to make a difference in your own life. And this does, you know, it will be a, a domino effect where other people's lives will also be affected in a positive way. Potentially allowing them to see the changes in you, realizing that maybe they too will benefit from less of that limited thinking. And the idea of opening your mind, their mind, my mind, to something more, to something bigger, to something, in some ways, something less as well. To have less of that limited thinking, less of that shoulds and shouldn'ts and shoulds and shouldn'ts and should be this way and should be that way and less of that. Because then the brain changes, the mind changes. There's no choice, there's no option, it just happens. It's no big deal, it just happens. You know, there's no, um, there's no fireworks or balloons or planes doing somersaults, there's nothing like that. It just happens naturally. There's no big tune in the background going do 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 ba ba do ba do ba do no none of that. That wasn't a very good tune, I admit. I apologise. I probably hit top fifty if I really worked on it hard. Got a you know professional producer in. But hey, let's not concentrate on the tune. Let's concentrate on your mind. My mind. Everyone's mind. has the ability to change really easily, seriously. I can't even express how easy this is because it's happening anyway. It's always happening. Even when you don't want it to happen, even when you, you're holding on to something that feels so good, it doesn't last. Nothing lasts, no feeling lasts, you know? You can have the best orgasm in the planet, but you can't keep it going forever. At some point, it's going to subside and you're going to have to have a sandwich or a bar of chocolate or something. But I'm just, just saying it doesn't last. No feeling lasts. Nothing. And it's good to remember that when it's uh, maybe a feeling that isn't very nice. It won't last. Nothing does, which means we are continually changing. And I was going to add all the time there, but the word the words continually pretty much uh, covers all the time. We're changing. So what can you do with this? what can what can we do with this? So you've got the fact that we're constantly changing, always, always changing. We also have these limitations that we try and hold on to, to, to stop that change because we're enjoying the pleasure. Maybe we're in, enjoying being miserable for whatever reason. Some people like being uh, the comfort of knowing a specific feeling. Whatever that feeling is, sometimes it's just feels comfortable just to know, just to, you know, even an uncomfortable bed can feel comfortable sometimes because you're used to it. Doesn't mean it's healthy, doesn't mean it's good, doesn't mean anything, just it is what it is. So to learn a way of letting go, letting go of things that are no use to you, but you also have to open up that part of you which lets go of things that you enjoy, the pleasure. Because you can't hold on to that either. 
So to get yourself primed into that mentality of actually accepting that things change and that you're okay with that, you're all right with that. You accept that things are going to change. You accept that the good stuff's going to end, the bad stuff's going to end. And you also, when you look at it from a different direction, you might think, maybe I'll stop calling that good and maybe I'll stop labeling that bad. Maybe I won't add so much emotion to either of those feelings because that's all they are, feelings. Do we need to label feelings anything? And I wonder how that would change how you experience your own world. So that's the end of today's session. And I will do another one tomorrow. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like what I do. And all of my sessions, all of my videos are on my website, jasonnewland.com. They're all ordered uh, and categorized so that you can actually find what you need. Thanks for watching. Bye.